Locks it out right side in the slot. He waits, he shoots, he scores! Matt Thomas challenged the acting captain, J.F. Cadrone. He is off the schneid. By a one-on-two situation, drops off Jason Pitton, shoots one tip, score! The ex-Utah Grizz is going to get into the scoring somehow on this play. He got the shot, and right as it trickled over the goal line, James Bates finishes off. It'll be Pitton or Bates' goal with 4.34 to go in the first. Thunder lead it 2-1. Turnover in front, Bates with a forehand, shoots, he scores! A shorthanded goal, the Thunder's first since November. And the Thunder have the lead restored again at 3-2. Covering him to cost the right point, but it across, Robinson, backdoor, shoots and scores! 10.06 to go, and Matt Robinson finishes off a beauty of a play. Thunder attacking, down beast down the slot, Utah zone is back in her block, rebound, Bates, he scores! The backhander with 19, 19 to go in the third produces the hat trick for Jamie Bates, the sixth in Thunder history as he beats the blocker side of Mitch O'Keefe. The Thunder lead this one by a score of five to four. Well, the winning, uh, you got to find a way. I, I like that we found a way. You know, go four four going into the third period. We last three games we've uh, we've come out on the losing end of those opportunities to win a game. So. The fact that we found a way in the third period was, uh, and we didn't make it easy on ourselves. Too many men on the ice penalty with, uh, you know, I don't know how much time was Closing left. people out, you get, the, you get the quick one very early in the third, and you hold them the whole third, they do not score in the third, which is huge, right? I mean, no, oh, big, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Pitt not almost gets picked, uh, with turning the puck over behind the net, and we, uh, we didn't, we didn't give ourselves any uh, favors there in the third period in trying to keep them off the scoreboard, but yeah, I, I really liked the way we competed in front of the net, which I didn't like the way we competed in front of our net in the first two periods. I thought for the most part we controlled a lot of areas of the game. Uh, I thought they're all three of their, all four of their goals were the result of us just not being hard enough in front of the net and not eliminating the players. And that's, a, that's an area of the ice that we've got to make sure we control. And I thought we did a lot better job in the third period. They didn't have a ton of looks other than uh, when Pitton uh, turned it over behind the net there on the, uh, on the power play. But we scrambled and did a pretty good job uh, to kind of make that become uh, a non-factor. As a coach, how do you best chronicle uh, one of your players, uh, Bates, and the double record? Uh, I like to think of him as Jesus right now. <laughs> that could be for your outtakes. Uh, well, you know what? It was a great game. I, again, I, I, you know, I don't sit there at the game and say James Bates was unbelievable and it was all James Bates. I thought James Bates was a very good player for us tonight. I thought there was a lot of guys that contributed to his success. And it's one thing uh, when you got a guy like Bates, he's got the ability to score goals and he's got... He's got that knack around the net, and you got to get to the net. And I really think what separated him from from other players, and what separated his performance tonight from other performances, he was around the net a lot more. A lot of his goals were kind of what you like to call garbage goals, like in tight, banging home rebounds, and finding a way to get a stick on uh, on pucks. And uh, you know, a great effort by him, and a great effort by his linemates. I thought that line was uh, was real good again for us tonight. They were good last night, so um, important for a guy like that to get to get going offensively. Congratulations. Uh, it has occurred to you that you made history uh, as of uh, the end of the game here. What are your thoughts on that? No, I had no idea that that was uh, history. Obviously, um, that's pretty cool. But what we needed tonight was a win, and I'm glad that uh, I was able to help with that. I think it was actually pretty similar, to be honest with you. Just last night, we couldn't score. I think we put 45 shots on, uh, on net last night, and their goalie played unbelievable. And we knew if we came out tonight and uh, went to the net a little harder, got a little more traffic, and made it a little bit more difficult on him, then we'd probably be able to get a few more goals. And that's... Uh, that was our game plan. We stuck to it, and obviously it worked. What do you do with the hats? Do you get the hats? What happens on the hat track? Uh, I have no idea where the hats go, to be honest with you. The hats just, uh, they <laughs> so take them off the, the ice, and they probably, uh, the no, we don't, uh, we don't take the hats. <laughs> oh, so that's yeah. not one of them? No, this is my own hat. Okay. No, I think um, that was just a good play by Chris Delvis driving the net, and uh, Puck just seemed to find me again like it had been all night, and um, just put it on net as fast as possible, and I think caught the goalie off guard. But in the second intermission, we were just in here. We wanted to make sure we went out confident. I know uh, we've blown a couple of leads in the third period the last three games, and you know we haven't played well. We've just had some bad breaks and some untimely uh, mistakes. And we just wanted to make sure that we played confident and kept to our game plan. It was probably going to go in the net. Pet's been giving me a hard time about it, actually saying I stole a goal from him. But, <laughs> you know, when you're going uh, through the crease and there's a puck there and it's not in the net yet, it's just uh, it's reaction just to put it in. So, um, you know, it might have been his goal. I might have snaked it from him. But, 
you know what, maybe you could have turned around and uh, hit it out of the way before it crossed the line. So you got to make sure, you got to be sure before you uh, pass up on a goal like that. We need uh, as many points at home as we can. I mean, this is, uh, coach has been stressing that this is our playoff run. We come out of here with a bunch of wins at home. We're looking uh, looking pretty to look for uh, first place in the league. We don't do well at home. Now we're fight, fighting for our lives just to make the playoffs. So this is a huge stand for us at home. We know that. And uh, we're going to keep battling hard to get as many points as we can.